This is Youngwood, Pennsylvania, a small community borough located in Westbourne County as part of the Greensburg area. Youngwood was established in 1899 and was built on land owned by John Y. Woods, a farmer. Including the name Youngwood, Woods took his own family name and combined it with his maternal grandfather's name, which was Young. Hence the name is called Youngwood, which was first given to the railroad station and later to the borough. Youngwood owes its extensions to the southwest branch of the Pennsylvania Railroad, which ran from Greensburg South to Uniontown and Fairchance in Fayette County. In 1900, a large classification yard was built for sorting railroad cars and provided Youngwood's economic base for many decades. When Youngwood became a borough in 1902, they built a brick passenger station, a freight station, and a six-room office building. As the years went by, the railroad cars are still declining until the 1940s, when the office building was demolished. In 1982, Conrail was sent to demolish the railroad station. However, the Youngwood Council approved a proposal to convert the old station into a museum for Youngwood history and railroads, which still stands today. Today, the railroad that runs in Youngwood now carries freight trains every morning. Did you know that the Youngwood Community Center is the oldest active building in the borough? It used to be a high school as well as a junior high school. The school was built in 1917 as Youngwood High School. It was completely dedicated two years later. In 1930, a gymnasium, auditorium, dressing rooms, and more classrooms were added. In 1952, the high school became part of the Hempfield Joint Area School District. Three years later, a new heating plant, a shop, home economics, nurses, and faculty rooms were added. In 1956, it was converted to a junior high school as the senior high students began attending the then new Hempfield Area Senior High School in Greensburg. The junior high closed in 1983 when the Youngwood Borough was notified by Hempfield Township that they have no longer had interest in the high school building. It's my belief that the school district was switching schools around and they were made Stanwood Junior High and Elementary School, which no longer left a need for this Youngwood Elementary School. In December of 1984, the Hempfield School Board accepted the proposal of council to purchase the building for $1. In April of 1985, the deed was transferred to the Youngwood Borough and the Youngwood High School Restoration Committee was formed. Youngwood Borough Council appointed a committee of volunteers that actually stepped up to the plate to take over the management of this building. It's called the Youngwood High School Restoration Committee. That committee put their time and effort into this building, um, repairing walls, putting carpet down, etc., to make it the borough offices and the community center that you see here today. In 1986, the borough offices and council chambers were then moved into the building. Many years later, in addition to the offices, a library, a tax office, a hair salon, and a playground was built. There is also a quilt which was made for Youngwood's 100th anniversary in 1999. There are four quilts standing in the center. The quilt honors and remembers families in Youngwood. Squares were made available for purchase. It was sent up to the purchaser to embroider, cross-stitch, airbrush, paint, and design the information on the squares. The squares on the quilt were collected here at the Youngwood Borough office. Each individual dropped their square off once it was completed. We then gave the squares to a group of volunteers who graciously sewed the squares together to make the four beautiful quilts that you see here today. The quilts were only on display at the community center during Centennial Week and were also at local dates at churches and a fire hall during the carnival. Today, it's on a permanent display at the community center. Youngwood is notable for having a professional football player who was born in Youngwood named George Blanda, the oldest quarterback who played professional football. Blanda held the distinction of having played 26 seasons of the National Football League, the most in the sport's history. During his career, he played with the Chicago Bears for 10 seasons, one with the Baltimore Colts, seven with the Houston Oilers, and his final nine with the Oakland Raiders until his retirement in 1976. 
he also held the record of scoring the most points than any other player in the history of football. Blana finished his career of having completed 1,900 of his 4,000 plus pass attempts for over 26,000 yards and 236 touchdowns. He was inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 1981. Ten years later, on June 8, 1991, the Youngway Borough officially declared George Blanda Day. On this date, the town took the opportunity to recognize the accomplishments on Blanda. As an additional tribute, Route 119, North 3rd and 4th Streets was renamed the George Blanda Boulevard. Sadly enough, on September 27, 2010, Blanda passed away after an illness at the age of 84. The Youngwood Borough Building originally had a sports gallery in tribute to George Blanda on the basement floor, but was removed by the Blanda family in the 2000s. Youngwood would never forget George Blanda, a great football player. One thing about Youngwood is their ice cream shops. There are two ice cream shops in Youngwood, Manny Mae's Co-Zone and Dairy Queen. But the greatest ice cream shop in Youngwood is Dairy Queen. We all know that Dairy Queen is famous for its cone, the curl on top, and the blizzard. The plug that pressed on Sherry and Tom Waters of Tars as they became franchise of Dairy Queen in 1960 and opened the Youngwood Dairy Queen on August 1, 1961. The self-service store was operated by Shirley until her death in 1985. Her daughter Diane, who worked with many years at her store, became Porn's Red Father in 1986. The early 1990s got major improvements to the Dairy Queen store, which the look still stands today. One of the key features that the Martis family did is the purchase of a parking lot, which allows for parking up to 16 cars. The lot was purchased in the early 1990s from Mrs. Hurst. For years, the Martis family tried to purchase the vacant lot. George Gula, Diane's husband, made an offer and they accepted. Now the work began, the removal of the trees, 16 and over 50 truckloads of dirt. Down came the road mill, and the year later, the blacktop and the lines were put down. In addition to the parking lot, a drive through window was also added. The drive through was built in the winter of 1993 and ready to go for the summer of 1994. We had cars lined up coming down 4th Street and coming down Haller Avenue. Everyone was so excited that they didn't have to get out of their car anymore. Unlike most DQ stores, you will only come to Dairy Queen during the spring, summer, and early fall. You will always experience the famous cone with the curve on top, the blizzard, and many other cool treats. As Dairy Queen will always say, We treat you right, Dairy Queen. One major part of Youngwood's Main Street, which is Depot Street, is the Lois A. Bompiani Building. Some people often call it by its original name, the Love Building. It was built in 1904 by Robert Love. The building dominated the scene of a central part of the town. It used to hold a bank called First National Bank. In 1936, the bank was moved and ownership was passed on by pharmacists Frank Miller and Harvey Bayer. The pharmacy's business, which is called Bayer's Rexall Pharmacy, was moved into their current location in 1976. In 1991, the building was set on fire by an arsonist and was burned. It was then rebuilt one year later. On October 29, 1993, the building was dedicated and was renamed the Lois A. Bompiani Building. Today, the building holds the offices of an eye doctor, an insurance agency, a daycare center for children, and the offices of Dr. Tony Bompiani. Well, that's going to be it for now. In our next installment, you have more history in Youngwood. But when you always come to Youngwood, you will find a lot of great things to explore and learn.